Hi everyone. So you may have seen uh, Shannon Green put a video up last night about uh, dendritic monoprinting and uh, I will put a link to uh, Shannon's channel in my description so you can go and see what she did. And I was really excited about it and I made a couple of prints last night but it was late so I didn't like video and 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 go into great uh to great length with it. I just did like two prints. So I think I have those laying here. Yeah. Okay, this one is uh the one I did on glass. Okay, it's really cool. It makes these really cool like branches of trees. It's it's awesome. And um, this one I did using uh, transparencies. And it makes really a completely different pattern, but it's still really beautiful. And um, so, and it has a little bit of the, the tree branching in it, but it's really small. So I was intrigued by that. So I thought I may, may give that another try. Um, but I'm going to do it with the glass first, and uh, I wanted to show you that this is the kind of glass that I'm using. It came out of uh, one of these plastic cheap frames that you can get almost anywhere, drug stores and, you know, craft stores almost any place. And the glass, the glass that goes in the top of the frame is intended to be handled, and so they actually round the edges um, and polish it off so you don't have any sharp edges on on these glass pieces. So give that a try if you're thinking about doing this and you want to get some inexpensive glass, you know. You do have to be careful with it. I did uh, chip the corner last night of this one. I may have chipped the other one too. Yep. Got a little chip in this one as well. So you do have to be careful with it. Um, and this is still thin glass. You don't want to put it on anything bumpy when you're pressing down. You just want to make sure you keep it on a flat, hard surface. So, um, I think I'm going... Last night I used the more liquidy, you know, craft paint type deals. I'm going to try some of this uh, Liquitex Basics today just to see, um, you know, what it does or may do differently. I don't know that it will do anything, but we'll try and see what happens. I want to use this really pretty magenta. Let's see. And I think that I may have been pressing too hard on my paper. I went back and looked at the video that Shannon had linked, uh, the original video that she saw about this, and he does say to press it ever so lightly, touching it so that you don't press down the pattern. And that might be why, you know, some of mine don't look as cool as his looks. So I'm going to give that a try and just see what I can get. And he was also working in a smaller area, so I'm going to give that a try also. Okay. Just want to see what we can do here. And you're supposed to get this um, pretty evenly spread out. Okay. And then basically, you just put the other piece of glass right on top. And hopefully get a cool pattern. Okay. This part you press down, you know, fine. You, you can put some pressure on this as long as you're on a flat surface. But when you put the paper on to make the print, you're supposed to, um, you know, just touch it really lightly. Okay. So I've got some paper here. Let's see, I'm going to set that up there. And then I'm going to take it apart. I'm using a, just a basic uh, palette knife because it's thin enough to go between the glass. 
And look, you can see the pattern forming. I hope you can see that. I hope I can keep this from falling. Get a good grip on it. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that is really pretty. I'll do it this way and see if I can do a like a half sheet. And just barely, barely touch it so that you get a really good, really good image. Wow, that is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do the other half here on. Well, that might mess that up. I better not. I gotta wait till it dries. Yeah, I'm just barely touching this paper, so. Oh, I'm liking this. These are beautiful. Yes, sir. I wonder if I can get anything else. I, too, since the paint is thicker, I wonder if that's possible. Oh, yeah, it's possible. <laughs> get this one again. I'm going to do it down here at the edge so that I don't lay my paper down on the table. So I think this thicker paint, uh, the Liquitex Basics, is, is working out really well as far as uh, being able to get more than one print uh, off of the, the one application of the paint. So that's gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to put something, let's see, let's put something else on there. I'm going to put some, I'm going to do like a, let's see, I don't know if it'll show up or not. Um, I'm going to just try like a lavender color of the craft paint and just see, um, just see what happens. Well, there's still a lot of pink paint on this, huh? I need to do something with that. So, gotta work quickly here. I got paint drying. Okay. I'm just spreading it in my composition book of unwasted paint. You all know that book, right? <laughs> There it is. Woo! Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Don't know what will happen. We'll find out together. Okay, let's see. Slide this up. Looking good so far. Look at that, even that blob, blob that came out made a cool pattern.
That looks so neat. Very cool. Yeah, that is really neat. I've got some glossy labels. I'm gonna try to get a print back here with a glossy label and just see what it does. Oops, I slid that, it may, it may have messed it up. A little bit of a cool print. It is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna try misting this one. do that on this one, this side. Mm, a little bit off, not much. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that the thicker paints are going to be um, one of the better options um, of doing this. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put this down since I have it on the brush. And, um, let's see. Got a darker purple here somewhere. Here we go. And just add a little of this. Might be too much. I don't know. See what we get. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. I just love this. I mean, look at these little tiny areas. <laughs> so pretty. Yep, it's gorgeous. Okay. I'm gonna um, put these on the other half of the pink one and see if we get any more. So cool. Some of it actually looks like tree bark. <laughs> so we're getting branches and bark now. That's awesome. <laughs> See how it looks like bark right here? Nice. Well, I am loving this. So you guys need to try this out. This is pretty simple procedure and very little, very little, um, needing very little um, supplies. Couldn't make my brain work there for a second. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to try and pick up a little bit here on the end. And I know I'm pressing harder now because there's not much there and I just want to get as much of the color up as I can. 
And that way it doesn't go to waste. I mean, that can be used for something, right? Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna try uh, another, um, another go on the glossy labels. And I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use two colors. Ooh, this paint got thick on me. Wow. I hope that spreads out okay. It looks kind of lumpy. <laughs> Maybe I should check it and see. I don't know. Pretty lumpy. Wow. Maybe it'll work. We'll try. We'll try it. It's certainly not creamy like this one, like this one is. I don't know what happened to it. All right. All right, let's see. Wow, this one did not do the normal. Well, I guess it did. <laughs> Couldn't see it as well, but look how cool. Oh, so pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Let's see what this one looks like. Pretty as well. Wow, this one actually uh, stuck to the plate a little bit. There's some white here, and it peeled the paper, uh, the glossy surface, I guess, off of the label. So I can't leave them on there long. I just learned that. <laughs> but super cool. I'm gonna take a couple of these too and do a print on top. Of, of one of the other ones I did and just see what it looks like to do a double. I'm not sure if this one is wet enough, but we'll try this way and see what happens. Well, that looks pretty cool. Having all the different patterns, like some are going uh, one way, some are going the other way. So that's awesome.
It's kind of like the ghost print you do when you're jelly printing. I'll put a light blue on top of the craft paint. Whoa. Well, that's a lot of paint. <laughs> This light blue almost looks purple on here. And some of the paint is peeling up. The dry paint from the plate is peeling up. And that's probably not a good thing. I think I'm just making it worse, so I'm going to stop. Let's just see what happens. the glass hit the uh, pattern there but it's all right it's all good little too much paint you can see how it got a little fatter but it's still a really pretty design so I'm not complaining nope so cool all right now let's um Let's take these and make a print on top, like a ghost print. Yeah, that's cool. Just adding layers of color. Pretty awesome. After I get off as much color as I can get off uh, on the papers making prints, I'm just spraying it down really good, like really wetting it with water and then just using a paper towel and it wipes right off. Just like that. So the cleanup is even pretty easy. Now I'm going to do it with uh, a transparency. <clears throat> just to give you an idea of how that works. All right, so I'm gonna use, a, I just cut this sheet in half, this one transparency sheet. <clears throat> the paint doesn't clean off of these as easily as it cleans off the glass. So um, I'm gonna, I just wanna try it with one here and I'll cut it in half and we'll put some paint on there and see how it goes. So I'm gonna try this with the thicker paints also. And uh, I think I'll go with the bright green. Let's see. And... I'll add a little bit of this, this purpley blue. It's called ultramarine blue. <clears throat> okay. 
And gotta get the paint off my brush again. Hold on. All right, so. It's a beautiful blue. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. All right. And we'll put the sheet on top. Press it down. Looks like it's making some cool patterns in there. Wow, beautiful. I'm going to slide these together and lay a label sheet, I think, on top. Okay, moment of truth. I think I'm going to flip it over so I can just peel off the uh, transparency. Okay. Ooh, it's stuck again. Can't leave it very long. Uh, see how it's sticking, tearing the thing? That may not work after all using the the label sheets, but look how pretty. See, the first one I did didn't give me that kind of large pattern like that. But that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And the color too. Oh, <laughs> very, very pretty. Man, I mean, look at those cool shapes. Wow, I am loving this. This technique is awesome. It's very, very awesome. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get anything off of here, but we're gonna try. We give it the old college try. Oh, it didn't do that very straight. That's all right. We're just having fun anyway. Just loving this. I hope y'all tried this. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> this is great. Neat. Oh. Wow. Very cool. It really is a different pattern from the uh, the other one. The way the way the other one branches and and makes like a tree branch pattern, and and this just makes its own design. It's just really really cool. So okay, everybody, it's time to give it a try and have as much fun as I'm having. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.